Well, creatures of the underworld will spook the stage this weekend at a historic building in Nary. For this week's In Focus, we'll learn about Nary's community effort to bring back the first theater program in decades. Our Brenda Mack has more. Children dressed as zombies and vampires are rocking it out this weekend at a historical Nary school. Just to play in general is kind of funny. The Dracula Rock Show is not one too familiar with many. It's not really well known here. And so that's kind of unique to do something new. And it's got a little, a lot of catchy tunes that have little puns and twists to it. But it is one that may bring back the performing arts culture in a nearly 100 years old building. Well, this is the first theatrical production that's been held here in many, many years. Since a proposed plan to demolish the school, former student Wayne Hoff has led the effort to preserve it and to transform it into a hub for theaters and recitals. And the Dracula Rock Show is a start to his long-term plan. Especially out in a rural area like this, they didn't think that, that it was a good place for performing arts. Oh. Bemidji is, is, has a lot of theater in it, and the way to sustain that is to have a healthy, vibrant children's theater program. This experience has helped kids branch out their comfort zones in many ways. It makes you more com confident about your singing and how you act. They're having fun and hope the crowd will too. It, well, it goes highs and lows. One minute it's like, oh, what are we doing? Yeah. Why are we doing this? And the next minute it's like, hey, this is really cool and fun. The kids are really getting into it. Yeah. So it has its highs and lows, but overall it's been a good experience. There will be one more show this Saturday at 7 p.m. For this week's In Focus, Brenna Mack for Lakeland News. Tickets are a free will donation and all proceeds will go to the Nary School. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.